dear students of standard 10 as we are starting the human digestive system so in previous class we have discussed up to the oesophagus so now today we have to carry on the masticated and mix with some digestive enzyme passes through oesophagus and comes to stomach the food now comes to the stomach stomach is lies below the diaphragm in the abdominal region so diaphragm that are bifurcate the thoracic region and abdominal region so in the abdominal region the stomach is like here food stores and partially digestion takes place stomach is divided into three parts mainly anterior or known as the cardiac part middle that is fundic part and last that is posterior part known as the pyloric part the inner part of a stomach are made up of columnar cells and having sunken pits in which gastric glands are available these gastric glands are of three kinds one is mucus cells which are responsible for secreting mucus second is partial or the oxyntic cells that are responsible for secreting hydrochloric acids third one is chief enzymogen cells that secretes inactive enzyme pepsi prepepsin the hydrochloric acid converts propepsin into pepsin and kills all the available bacteria with the ingested food comes here the secretion of mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from uh, erosion now approx 3 liter gastric juice is produced per day here due to the irregular habits of taking food as well as empty stomach habit leads for excessive secretions of the gastric juice here and that erode the inner lining of the stomach and cause ulcer that is called peptic ulcer digestion of protein and lipids start partially from here now the food comes to after uh, stomach to the small intestine which is a prox 6 uh, meter long can be divided into three parts first is duodenum then jejunum and ileum duodenum is c separate in the middle two different ducts open here one is bile duct and another is pancreatic duct bile is the alkaline green juice is poured into the duodenum through the common bile ducts liver i'm talking about a little bit for the liver is the largest organ gland in our body which secretes bile that help in digestion the bile juice is produced by liver and stored into the gall bladder which is emulsify the fat and make them soluble due to the hydrolyzing property of the enzyme as well as the food coming from stomach is in acidic medium due to hydrochloric acid mixture so in this acidic form of food is known as in chyme chyme form from here due to the the 
this alkaline bile ducts are coming from the bile ducts the food is converted into chyle form from uh, chyme to chyle form so this is liver now we are talking about pancreas uh, it secretes pancreatic juice uh, and come through the pancreatic duct into the duodenum also so the pancreatic juice contains so many digestive enzymes such as amylase which are responsible for splitting polysaccharides poly means many saccharides means the uh, sugar molecules so poly headed that's a polysaccharides so lipase which is splitting fats into smaller globular forms trypsin and chymotrypsin which is splitting proteins now after breaking down into the this simplest form food comes to jejunum and passes to the ileum where the major digestion and absorption takes place in this part of ileum the wall consists of numerous glands which are responsible for secretion of intestinal juice the intestinal juice converts the uh, peptides into the amino acids uh, now disaccharides earlier it was polysaccharides so now disaccharides into monosaccharides lipids into fatty acids and glycerol nucleic acid into the nucleotides the smallest and simplest form uh, of food is possible here or the prepared here the absorption of the completely digested food takes place only in the ileum here the inner wall of the ileum has outgrowth or the finger like projections inside the tube that is called villi which increases the surface area of the ileum so that when the simplest forms of food passes through this villi that absorbs food and supply to the blood capillaries running inside make richly supply of blood here in the villi through the blood uh, the nutrients or the food that is the food transported to whole body due to the assimilation process the absorbed food is utilized for the growth the development of the body and the formation of new cells in the body now from ileum the food comes to large intestine large intestine divided into colon and rectum here at the junction of the ileum and colon there is a outward finger like projections that is the outgrowth is find this is known as a cecum this is a vestigial organs are of not any use it is approx 8 cm long but sometimes it creates problem when get infected this is known as appendix also when problem creates doctor remove this actually the colon has an ascending part transverse part and the descending these three parts the last part that is descending colon is connected with the rectum the terminal part of the rectum is known as anal canal which opens into the anus which is guarded by the some special types of muscles that is known as a sphincter muscle 
द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन अलाउ द फीकल मैटर्स और द रेसिड्यूअल मैटर आफ्टर द प्रॉपर एब्जॉर्बसन ऑफ वाटर टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू द इंटेस्टाइनल वाल एंड द रेस्ट इज इगेस्टेड थ्रू द एनस सो इट इज अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन अबाउट द ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम लेट्स वी हैव टू कैरी ऑन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास